and you know what time it is. You know what time it is. We are reading from Matthew uh, chapter 19, verse 26. And it says, But Jesus looked at them and said, With man, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. Real background uh, description um, with this uh, passage is, a young man comes to Jesus asking him, you know, what can I do to follow you? How can I have eternal life? Um, you know, who is it that's good? And Jesus, you know, if you read before you get to this verse, the whole chapter 19, you know, Jesus is saying, you know, there was only one good, you know, which he was implying that was God. And he told the young man, he said, uh, he started listing the commandments that he should be following. And I'm just going to name a few of them that he said in the Bible. But Jesus was like, you know, you should not bear false witness. Um, you should not uh, commit adultery. Uh, you should love your neighbor as yourself. So as Jesus is explaining these things, the young rich man is like, okay, cool. Boom. Check, check. I'm doing all of that. So I'm going to heaven, right? So then Jesus challenged him by saying, I also need you to give all of your possessions away. And this was a challenge uh, to see where this young man's heart was at because uh, he, as he, as he stated earlier, you know, Jesus, I'm, I'm following all of these commands. I know I'm going to get into heaven. But he could not give his possessions away. He couldn't give his wealth away. Um, he just couldn't bring himself to do it. And, and in the scripture, it says, if you read further along, it says that the man walked away with his head down. And I think that's so symbolic because... Uh, we may be a point in our life where we're asking God, God, I want you to use me for your glory. I want you to, you know, do some things. What do I need to do? And then when God does tell us the things we need to do, such as leaving that relationship or leaving that job or um, walking away from that friendship, uh, we like, oh, God, you know, I was with you up until you said that. But not realizing that God has something so much greater for us, just like he had for this young man, if he would have just gave his possessions away. He said, I, you will have eternal life with me if you just gave your possessions away. That's the best gift we can ever receive from God. But sometimes we get in our own way. So I just want you to think about the scripture. If you have time, read the whole book, the whole chapter um, of Matthew 19. I think it will enlighten you. And I will see you next Monday. Have a great rest of your week.